Hello. Today is the 23rd of January 2016 and the UK's lottery numbers tonight look somewhat unusual. In fact, here they are. So, uh, they are 8, 9, 10, 11, 41 and 54. So we've got a consecutive run of four numbers, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Now, as humans, we tend to look at patterns like this and think they're going to be extremely unusual. And in fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of people think it's all a fix. So the question is, if it's completely random, how often should you get a consecutive run? So what's the probability of getting four consecutive numbers on the lottery? Now, to work out the probability, we're going to need to make use of something called combination functions. Uh, this particular one is the number of ways of picking m objects from a total of n. Um, so these little um, excl exclamation marks there means factorial, which is just, say if, if you had 6 factorial, it would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So it's the product of all the numbers from 1 up to n. So, for instance, the total number of possible combinations uh, for the lottery, where order doesn't matter, is 59 choose 6. Um, so there are 59 total balls, you pick 6 of them, and order doesn't matter, so the total combination is 45,057,474. And, as you can see, you can actually put this through your calculator if you wish, but it's simply this sum there. To work out the total number of combinations which have a sequence of four consecutive numbers, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, we need to consider that more than one possible combination will have this sequence in it, because there are two extra numbers, and these can be anything from 6 upwards. We can't have 5, because that would give us a sequence of 5 consecutive numbers, and not 4 in this case. But say we could have 6, 7 as our extra 2 numbers, or 6, 59, 7, 8, 7, 59, all the way up to 58, 59. So we need to work out how many there are of those. Well, there are 54 possible numbers from 6 to 59. We're choosing 2. So that's 54 choose 2, which is 1,431. For the second sequence of 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can no longer have 6. And we can't have 1 either, because both of those would give us a sequence of 5 and not 4. So we can have any number higher than 7. Uh, which gives us 53 possible numbers to choose from. We're going to pick two, so it's 53 choose two. And that is 1,378. For the third sequence, 3, 4, 5, 6, we can now put one at the front. So we've got one number before the sequence we can have. Um, we can have any number from 8 upwards. So there are 52 numbers from 8 to 59, plus the 1 here, and that again gives us 53, choose 2, which is 1,378. And in fact, most of the numbers also have this 53, choose 2, because every time we shift 1 to the right, we lose a number at this end, and we gain a possible number we can add at this end. For the later sequences, for instance 53, 54, 55, 56, we can choose any two from either 1 to 51 before the sequence, or 58 to 59 after the sequence. So there's 51 here, 2 there, again that's 53. So 53 choose 2. For 54, 55, 56, 57, we've now got 1 to 52 we can choose from beforehand, or 59. So again, 53. 
choose two. For 55, 56, 57, 58, uh, well, we can now have anything from 1 to 53 beforehand. There's no available numbers afterwards. So, again, that's 53 numbers, choose two. And finally, for the very last sequence, 56, 57, 58, 59, there's now 54 possible numbers at the start. So, that is 54, choose two. So the total number of possible combinations with four consecutive numbers are, well the first and last one had 54 choose 2. So there's two of those. There are 56 possible sequences in total. Two of those have 50, 54, so we've got 54 times 53 choose 2. Now if we plug some numbers in there, that gives us 2 times 1,431 plus 54 times 1,378. So that gives us 2,862 plus 74,412. And uh, it gives us the total 77,274. So, the total number of combinations where there are four consecutive numbers is 77,274. And what we need to do to find a probability equals 77,274 divided by 45 million 57,474, which is the total possible number combinations in the overall lottery. And that gives us approximately 1 in 583. So there's about a 1 in 583 chance of four consecutive numbers from a single draw. Now, the lottery is drawn twice a week, so there are 104 draws per year. So we'd expect roughly uh, four consecutive numbers to come up every five to six years on average. Now, the lottery has now been going for about 20, just over 21 years, and there have actually now been four draws where four consecutive numbers have come up. So it sounds roughly right. So consecutive numbers on the lottery... Rare, but perhaps not as rare as you might have thought. So, thanks for watching.